Okay. So, another corpse. And another way to the outside. Which is always nice. So, can't take the pistol, but there is a transcribe on Zachary West. There we go. And the crew crawl. What is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes. If they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy. But look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Daniel. Where are you? I wouldn't worry too much about Ivy. So there we go. Detour completed. And we can take the note as well. Horden Buffles treasure map. Um, so that's a room with three circles. With a big circle and two smaller circles. And the eye is pointing to the right side of the entrance. Okay. It's unlikely Chief Sho is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Okay, gathering echoes. Search Danielle Show's crew quarters for samples of her voice. But that way we need to get back to the crew quarters. I'm not going to open up because I, um, I skipped one other one of these, the airlocks. I can actually just open it up probably. And there we go. Open that up. Three out of five airlocks opens. So that gives us a shortcut on the outside, but let's go back up. Whee! Because I still want to check out the main lift. And I probably can't do that from here, because this elevator is just not working. And this was actually that glass plate we saw. God damn it. God damn it. I did drop them down because the glass broke. Um, that was a lot of damage, by the way. Okay. That scared the bejesus out of me. There we go. I scanned them. Um, is there a corpse somewhere? <laughs> I can't see the corpse. Is this the corpse? No, it's a corpse. Okay. Okay, so the lily pads were freaking mimics. Dicks. Can I scan? Because I've been down here, so that's why I knew that this was glass and not a real pond. As we could saw the lily pads from down below, but... Because they all dropped down here. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? And one of them was like the purple kind. What was that? Engineering corrupted. Yeah, okay, we saw those. Wait. Oh, snap. What happened to the turrets? Um, that's... That's deployed again. Deploying. So I can drop this one back here. And deploy it. Deploying. I can't fortify him right now because I don't have the requisite repair skill. We still have a few ways to go, but first things first, we're going to check out the main lift, which is, I think, just a fast travel station back to the lobby. So there we go. Oh, God. Uh, what? Um... Most enemies aboard Talos 1 are stronger than you, at least initially. Before attacking head-on, try gaining an advantage by disabling them first. Well, yeah, but I mean, what the hell just happened? I spawned and I was shocked. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Um... Similar disruptive abilities. 
Only this one seems more powerful. Scanning at one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to waste a few things here, because... Um, what the hell are we gonna do against that? I know what's going on. Oh, oh, it's over there. It's over there. It's over there. It's over there. Um, let's use the null wave transmitter to stop it using abilities. I'm assuming I can do that. Then, shotgun it in the face. Oh god. Doesn't seem to take much damage. Um, maybe an EMP charge? Okay, I need to heal. Again. I need to heal. And then the suit, suit, suit repair kit. There we go. Then, I think, first the disruptor stun gun to take care of these guys. There we go. And then I'm hoping I can actually shoot my stun gun at this thing as well. Seems to work better. So that's the thing we saw outside. That kind of screwed me over. And I'm almost out of disruptive batteries, but I think I'll be able to finish it off right now. There we go. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Nice work. The lift is responding again. That Typhon hijacked the hardware, even the software running the system, all the way down to the machine code, reprogramming it on the fly. Fascinating. And alarming. I can patch up the code. You should be fine. Take the lift if you need to move quickly between the three main decks on Talos 1. It has a stop in the lobby and down in life support. Okay. So that was something. Holy crap. That was a bit of a boss fight. Um, didn't expect it though, because I was just bombarded with the uh, electrical discharges when I opened up the door. But let's eat some uh, of my amazing stack of fruit. Also use my final, uh, well, my final of that one stack of repair, suit repair kits. But we get Henry de Vries' office, so that's a Dutch name. That's a, almost a Flemish name. From where I'm from, Hendrik de Vries. Uh, so let's take his keycard, medkit, and listen to the transcribe. Alex! Damn it! Hold on, I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay, do no harm. What is that about? New objective. What the hell's going on? Yeah, the objective. Download the Vries' encryption key in the lobby. Okay. Um, let's open up the door. What the hell is going on? Okay, so life support or lobby. Let's go to the lobby first. I know there's um, a recycling station over there. So I'm pretty sure I can go do a few things from over there. Because I have a few keys now as well. I have new abilities that I can use to open up some more pots. And that should... Oh god. There's definitely something here. Um... What? Oh, there's another one of those. There's another one of those. Oh, Jesus. There's a big one. Um... That is not good. Uh, let's go to life support. What the fuck? There's a weaver, a, uh, a telepath, and he saw me going down, has an and one of those big All guys. Personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. What the hell was that? This seems a bit safer. The, the lobby is fucked. Okay. Um, let's open that up. And uh, take a deep breath. 
And now we have the life support thing. Yeah, that is, yeah the, disc the decryption key is over there. Start extraction or liberate volunteer. Uh, no, no, no. We're going to go into life support. So another loading screen. Here we go. Oh, God. Yeah, but, but stop putting me right next to enemies. So life support sounds better than it looks. I'm just quickly going to scan for mimics and stuff like that. Ah, noises. Lots and lots of noises. And another note. Do not share Weber 8690. Security boot safe codes. That's great as a start. Let's listen to this transcribe as well. There we go. Talk to me. We've had enemy contact, but the enemy, there should have held position in the cargo bay. I couldn't, Chief. I couldn't let those people. Can you get to the escape pods? Negative. The escape pods are malfunctioning. It's like they're locked in place. Only four of us made it to life support. Five. I'm picking up Remmer behind you. Negative. Remmer. Remmer isn't Remmer, Chief. These things. Chief, the main lift, it isn't working. We're locked out. Oh my god, Remmer, Remmer's here. Stay away, Teague. Stay away, Teague. Erica. Oh god. Spawned. Okay. So, there's two of them. And they broke the turret again. Don't feel like the turret is a good way of doing this because I feel like they kill it in one go um oh god there we go oh Ooh. was that two of them or what the hell just happened? Or was that just one? Oh, 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 I'm in fire. I don't know from where, but... According to the game, I was in fire. On fire, in fire, whatever. Okay, that's... One, I think. So let's just turn this thing back on. Because I don't know where the other one went. And that is only one of them. I'm gonna have to see that in a second, but I think I can open this up. No. I need a key card. But this is openable as well. And I'm gonna eat a banana. I lied, it was a pomegranate. Pomegranate maintenance access panel. But I can't open this one because it's not openable from the inside. Just quickly, always check with the neuroscope. Let's take some more spare parts and freight wires. And open this bad boy up. Did he just kill himself with a glue gun? It looks like that. It looks really bad. I'm also running out of ammo because I don't have access to a fabricator for a while. <laughs> and then we get another shotgun fabrication plan. Stash in the hall by the escape pods, no time to rig a drop. Okay, can't pick up the glue cannon either. So that's the other side of the turret. So we're still fine for now. So nothing in the toilets themselves, but they give you another look at the area. The turret is doing its work, but there should be still one more etheric phantom. There he is. I could probably... I can scan him from here. I think he's even coming up. There we go. Ether absorption available. So I'm wondering if I can just snipe him from here. Although, of course, these guys can teleport. Oh god! I think I got him. I got him. Kind of pooped in my pants as well, but I got him. Wow, I can't underestimate that teleportation ability. Because he just swoops in your face. There's definitely something in there. It's one of those nests. And then I can use the glue cannon to stop them from getting out. Oh god. I think they died. 
I think they all died, which is great. Oh, gold. Um, I can't carry the redeploy. That is interesting. Can I move? Oh. I can move object using other objects. So that would make leverage seem useless. Uh, expired plasma pack, but there's something else in there that I need to get. What I mostly need is another recycler station. Come on, give me a recycler. Yeah, yeah, nothing in here, nothing in here, neuromods in there. And uh, that's just another medical station. You can just quickly check that out. But this thing, how do I go? How do I go further into that list? Ah, there we go. Ah, I think I already had that because it's in every every single one of these. Okay, okay. So we killed two phantoms. Rather nicely, if I do say so myself. Let's take the bullets. Did he absorb my pistol bullets? Why were there bullets on a typhoon? Hmm. Okay, so electrical panel on the right. Which I can repair. Because I'm awesome like that. That's probably another bit of the etheric phantom. Atmosphere control. Let me check that in a minute. But and now I can just repair this if it doesn't... There we go. Doesn't break. It didn't break. It didn't break. And there's a corpse over here. Penny. Penny died from electroshocks, I think. Service requests. I also blocked off, but... Can I smack the window? Flammo! No. Okay, maybe with the wrench? There we go. But, as always, use the psychoscope. And we get a suit repair kit fabrication plan, a note. Two people have checked out equipment and failed to return it, Ari and Roger. And we have another email, that's been a while. Equipment reminder, consider this a friendly reminder that you still have department equipment checked out. It was supposed to be returned at the end of your last shift, even if you intend to check it out again. You can't just keep it until you are done. I know it's a pain, but that's our process. And if you don't check that stuff in today, there will be fines automatically applied to your next space cycle. Spare parts and a glue cannon. And another note, Jose, annual maintenance is coming up soon on the air mixture regulators in atmosphere. Let Max know about getting a head start. He has the fabrication plan for them. Hmm. We found one of those... And the... So an air mixture regulator. Oh, There's a weapon repair kit in this box. And EMP charges. Which I haven't used yet. Properly. Although I think I trust my last one at that techno pulp. That might be the case. Let me check. So there we go. Made some space. I actually have two weapon repair kits in my inventory. So we're going to use that to get the shotgun up to the next bit. Which is 65... Um, there we go. Shotgun upgraded. And then I can probably upgrade either the glue cannon or the Q-beam. Let's upgrade the Q-beam. So I could go further, but I need lap tag 1 for that. Handling. Don't really care. Fire for longer between reloads. That's definitely something I want to have. There we go. And that's our final repair kit, so that makes some more space as well. Okay, still in dire need of a recycler though. So we can get to the cargo bay from there. But what else do we have here? There's another canister over here and then danger high voltage. Which I probably shouldn't touch. We have the elevator in the back. Which goes to the power plant and then we have the atmosphere control over here. Let's check that out. Let's check out the psychoscope because there's multiple boxes over there. But it doesn't mark them as mimics. The locker room is opened and now we have atmosphere control which looks like a portal to hell at the moment. So let's open this one first. And take a look around. Hello? Anybody in here? There's a corrupted engineer in there. 
He doesn't seem to mind all that much, and I have limited a limited amount of disrupted gun ammo. I'm gonna kill him though. There we go. He exploded. And it's the only one, so that gives us more spare parts. Which we'll always be able to use. Aha! And there's a maintenance crate behind this thingy. So, the maintenance panel. Swapping back over to the pistol. Check I actually need to reload, because there's... I mean, always a full clip, right? And open this up. Oh, God. How much ammo do I have left? That's not enough, is it? There we go. Ooh, there's another one of those thermal phantoms. Well, thermal sounds like you can actually glue gun the fuck out of that thing. Ooh, there it is. Um, can I move back in? Can I move back in? Can I move back in, please? Thank you. Let's scan the bad boy. This is so Bioshocky, by the way. There we go. Super thermal. Weakness psychic. Stop talking, Psychoscope. You're freaking me out. I thought there was the Phantom. So, the Thermal Boy is now permanently marked. So I can see where he is. It should actually check for Mimics. Uh, it should check for Mimics. More materials in the laboratory cabinet, but... I should probably take care of that Thermal guy. I could keep sneaking around, but I would be much more at ease if I can just take him out. Which I think I should be able to do with the glue cannon, right? It's a fire creature. The glue cannon takes out fire. So that should be fine, right? He's going up the stairs. Oh god, he's getting really close. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh god. I think I got hit there for quite a bit. Oh, why? I'm burning. I'm burning. I saw that just in time because I think I'm pretty much dead now. So that was a headshot and that was a critical hit. There we go. Okay. So he can make fire gazers or something like that. Um, let's take all of that. Don't really need it per se, but there we go. Another one of those down. I'm gonna use a suit repair kit though. Again, make space. Suit that fool. So this is the other door, right? Is this the other door? Yeah, so that was the gate to hell. That was what I saw. Atmosphere control. By the way, I'm assuming atmosphere control is not supposed to be on fire. It is definitely not supposed to be on fire. This does not look good. So a few locked rooms and Alan Bianchi dead with another repair kit. But check fans. Fan number three is jammed. Question is, where is fan number three? Ah, that's fair, fan number three. So if I interrupt that for a second. Oh, I should probably not stand on that. Let's um, remove that out of there. That's a pipe. Let's put that safely over here. Now I can probably just run back up, right? I'm just I'm gonna have to run back up. Because I don't have telekinesis powers. Which is probably something you get when you're into those Typhon powers. So let's check the fans again. By the way, it did say 30 seconds. All fans okay. There we go. Fix that up. <laughs> Temporary interrupt of the entire fan array should never last longer than 30 seconds. Yeah, I almost killed myself there. But. Uh, but, but, but. What do we have here? I mean, I fixed part of the station, which is always nice. But, I should probably do something about this as well. It cost me an entire clip, but hey. More plastic tubing for me. There's something underneath here as well. Freight wire. Okay, okay, okay. Don't know why we're actually here. Kind of missed the memo why we needed to go to 
this place probably because I was so spooked in the elevator. Oh, bu -bu 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 -bu. hi, hi. Um, um, can I just still charge that? Probably not. Um, um, I'm just gonna have to pistol it. Just gonna have to pistol it. It can fly. That's not fair. Oh God. Nope, nope, nope. There it goes. It's gonna explode. Ow. Oh no, I'm on fire. My work. You stupid drone. God damn it. I don't even know where that's supposed to come from. Uh, as, as a pope. I don't know where that fire beam is coming from, and I don't really care anymore. Okay, moving on. There was still one operator alive. God damn it. There we go. Eaten up to full. Is this a recycler? No. No. Still no freaking recycler. A lot of fire, though. And there seems to be something above me as well. According to the subtitles, there's something walking around that's called a poltergeist. I thought I had every type of enemy locked down bat already. That's not good. A poltergeist. God damn it. What is that gonna be? Let's quickly quick save. And then take a look. Or is that the big... Did he see me? Oh god! Are he's throwing objects? Oh god! So you can only see him with the uh... You can only see him with the... The psychoscope. Oh, what the? There he goes. And there's again a lot of fire spewing from nowhere. What the hell is this game's plan? I mean... Yeah, I can't do anything else. Than <laughs> Look at where that's coming from. Okay. Nope, it's not gonna chill out. There we go, door opened. Out oh, call. Jesus Christ. I mean, this is a bug, right? Yeah, okay, this this area is kind of unplayable right now, but a poltergeist, so an invisible enemy. Where is it, by the way? Ow, 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 ow. Damn it. There's a corpse. Oop. Straight through, and eat more food. Now, what was this all about? There's a transcribe from Gene Ford. Let's listen to that. Jean, it's Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something when I was checking the last O2 station. An ovoid mass, roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, could have just been debris, loose tubing, I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. Oh, just gotta breathe. I'm gonna try another airlock, then I'll call back. Okay, so she definitely saw the creature and the poltergeist. And because of the, the decontamination stuff I'm doing right now, I can actually just take out all the fire in this area. Which is great. It does make the game a bit silent though. It seems to be... Dickheads. Dick. There's another one of those thermal dudes over there. There he is. Oh god!
Oh, wait, I'm losing health. I'm still losing health, god damn it. It's really not clear when you're inside of the psychoscope that you're actually getting damage. God, I can't see anything. There we go. Health get. Um, and then I should probably check out the creature. Yeah, there's one underneath me. That is such bullshit. Oh god! So it's definitely still doing that. Oh, and it's not doing that. It's not doing anything. Ooh, Nelly, don't stand too close to the fire based typhoon. Got it. Yeah, I'm just gonna speed heal through everything here. I'm gonna need to use some suit repair kits as well. I'm fucking this up royally. I thought the thing was gonna. Okay. Come at me, bro. Getting closer, getting closer. Oh god, no, no, no! That explosion still hits you from very far away. But I do feel like headshots do a lot of damage. Which is great. Which is great. So. That filtration control room. So this is the room with the poltergeist. So that means on the other side, we should also have a room with something in it. Did I actually check that? No, I couldn't enter that room. But maybe now I can? No. No. I still can't enter this room. I think. Unless we can get on top of this somehow. But yeah. I'm losing a lot of resources while not gaining a lot of resources. Which is becoming a problem. I'm wondering, can I get in there somehow from the outside? Doesn't look like we can. So let's just go back over here. Because there was one way we haven't checked over here just yet. There was the elevator. And that puts us to the lower level. Oh god. Because according to the big elevator, this was already the lowest level. Oh god. Oh god. Oh yes. Oh no. Um, I'm gonna have to shoot it. Because that's a fabricator. Is there a recycler in this room as well? Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh fuck off. Are you still not dead? The pistol is kind of useless, isn't it? There we go. Didn't really take that much health damage, but our suit took a hit. Fabricator is great. But... A recycler would be even better. What was that? Something electric. No, no, I know what a turret is. I don't know what that is. There was something underneath here, right? Another Psy Hypo. I thought this game was going to be done with the different types of enemies, but apparently not. What do we have here? The storage room. I don't have this code either. And it's not hackable. Level 1 hackable? No. Level 3 hackable. Obviously. So there's a shock creature over there and a fabricator over here. So I could make some things. Um, like neuro mods. Neuro mods, mods would be nice, but first things first, I need disruptor batteries. There we go. Does that give me 150? That's not a lot. So might as well make another one. I have plenty of metal in my inventory. And we also have those weapons we could technically dismantle as well if we go back for them. Um, then I'm going to make some more shotgun shells. And that should give us plenty to go forward. And there we go, shotgun shells. But we need to get the disruptor stun gun active because I saw another one of those little thingies on the floor there. Let's clean this up with the glue cannon. 
Can a mimic transform into a, a puddle of glue? Because that would be a great, great way of hiding. Um, the swap the gun. And blammo. And blammo. There we go. That's that. We have Rhea. Dead as well. So not a lot of uh, people that are still alive, sadly. And then we have whatever this is supposed to be. Water treatment facility. And already saw... Yeah, there's something in the back there. Another one of those etheric uh, phantoms, probably. Oh, God. Wait, what? Oh, there's one up there. Aha. Uh -huh. So we can go up there as well. Just gonna reload this bad boy. And there's another door to the power plant. I feel like I'm not in an area where I'm supposed to be. But I feel like the lobby is where we need to be. But again, it's not safe there. And I want to just gather a few things before we head in there. Especially the recycler is something I really, really want to have. To get rid of my stuff. Okay, so the uh, the door is unpowered. But... Can we get higher up? So, we're getting higher up. So I think I can fire at it from here. Ah, and it died because of the fall damage, probably. Okay, okay. So that, that means I can stand up. There's a bit above me, but there we go. And then from here to there. There we go. And whatever this is supposed to be. Seems like some sort of uh, fancy flashlight. But what about this panel? More materials. I mean, I'm loving this, guys, but I need a recycler to actually have something with those materials. Unless I use a recycler charge, which is also an option. So now we're inside of water treatment. That's where the, yeah, electric boogaloo guy is. There he goes. Seems like another type, even. Which is not good. Which is definitely not good. And there's more of those... Corrupted operators as well, but that thing Can't scan it from here because it's a bit too far away But I can get into that room. Oh God Let's get in. Let's get in. Open this. No, no No, this is bad Okay, this is bad but I can't scan the damn thing If he doesn't run underneath the pipe before we can fully scan him Oh, there we go. A Voltaic Phantom. So that's, that one should technically respond to EMPs then, I suppose. Let's try try that. Oh, I have 12 EMPs, might as well use them. A quick save, so here we go. Sneaking. Oh, that doesn't do anything. I think I've even made it stronger. There we go. That's both of those gone and then... Oh god, this thing is strong. I think I... Where did it go? I tossed it down there. Oh god, and there's something else. There's another one of them in here. So there's the second Voltaic. Um, I could technically swap over to the pistol. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All hell broke loose. When life gives you lemons, you eat them. Oh god, but that one is almost down. I did manage to scan the other one as well. And that kind of made this area clear. But I mean, I could easily drop down there if I wanted to. But I don't want to do. I don't want to. Yeah, I vanished. I vanished. 
I'm waking up all sorts of stuff. But I can repair the turret over there. Not that that's going to help me much because that thing was hard as nails. But at least, because I think, wasn't there another operator around here as well? I think there was, but let's repair this. Repair this. Which way is he pointing? The other way. Oh, and we got a trophy for that. And there's another Voltaic Phantom in the hallway down there. Where is that operator? Oh, guys. Oh, guys, there's a recycler over there. There is a recycler over there. So that means I can get rid of all my stuff. The problem is there's two, well, three enormously powerful phantoms in here. I felt like the EMP... Oh, no. How do I fix this? It's not powered. No. Okay, then I fear that I'm going to have to end the episode right here in the water plant. Cornered by two incredibly dangerous monsters with a broken recycler right next to me. Um, uh, I'm going to take a little bit. Ah, the operator is up there. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of killing lots of lots of strong phantoms. But uh, we're going to have to clean this up next time. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time on Prey. Goodbye.